So you just got the Z Flip 6, congratulations. This phone is amazing and I'm gonna help you make it be even better by customizing not only your front cover screen, but also the inside screen to get it to however you want to. So stay tuned. In this video, it's gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to customize your whole entire Z Flip 6. This may be a little long. Anyways, get your popcorn, cause we're about to get right into it. So first things first, I wanna show you my phone and I actually customize it for the fall season. So as you can see, I picked the orange and yellow theme colors. I have my time along with the date right there. My two notifications, one for my battery, the other one for messages or whatever else, and then my flashlight. Moving on next, I do have my mostly used apps, which is the alarm as well as the calculator and people I contact the most. And then this right here, are my mostly used ones. So if I want to message through here, I can. If I want to go ahead and use my Google Wallet, I just tap on that and then pay and it is extremely convenient. I can use all these apps without even opening my phone. And then I do have the stock app as well as weather, but you can customize these to whatever you want. And moving on to the inside screen, I don't know if you can see, but actually whenever I move my phone, the birds kind of move with my phone. I don't know if you could see that. That's one of my favorite features that I'll also teach you how to do and everything I have here is layered so I love the way it's spaced out but on top of that I can go to my mainly used apps right there I can go to my maps right here this is a clock that I downloaded from a third-party app which I will show you but I swipe it and then there's my alarm as well too go to this side I have my calendar and then go to this side I have my news so this is honestly my favorite right now this is one of my favorite layouts that I pretty much always have this is super clean super minimalistic and you can still get to wherever you need to on top of that I do have my side panel with more apps that I use quite a bit and then I could flip it over and then people I contact the most again. So that's my setup. Anyways, let's get right into the review. First things first, I am gonna show you how to customize this screen. Very first thing you wanna do is just hold it down. Hold down the screen, it's gonna ask for your password. Once it's kinda looking like this, you just open up your phone and you could customize it to whatever you want. So for example, let's just create a whole entire new one. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down to add new. And then whenever we hit add new, my favorite thing to go down to is the informative presets because I like knowing what my notifications are, how much battery I have left, and all that good stuff on this home screen. So, And so these are all the options it gives you. My favorite, I don't know, I have quite a bit of them, but let's just go ahead and do this one right here. And then you could, pick whatever you want. So instead of the time there, if you want to do all your notifications, you have that option. Or if you want to go ahead and just get rid of these and add just like a really big time, you can go ahead and do that too. And you could customize this however you want. So let's see, we'll put the clock right there. I don't like having the camera here. What I like having here is the option to go ahead and use a flashlight because the camera, I just do the double tap button. But you could customize that button to whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just do, you could do Google Wallet too, we'll do, we'll do Wallet. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do the Wallet. And then here, I'm gonna keep it notifications. And then if you wanna change this, just hit gallery right here. Oh my God, some of my pictures are outrageous. Anyways, we'll go ahead, we'll get me and my dog right here. Oh, look at that, look at that, it's looking great. Now, if you wanna change the color, what I do is I play around with this a lot. So, go to colors, and then just hit that button right here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll make it like, we'll make it nice in summertime. So you can have that blue color, but my favorite thing to do is go down to this style, and then I like doing the gradient effects. I just feel like it looks a little better, makes it look a little bit cleaner but you could do whatever effect you'd like. So we could do this one, this one. Personally, I don't know how I'm feeling about the blue, so let's change it. We'll do the purple. I think the purple looks pretty cool. So that's how you could customize this, but what you really wanna know is how to get this. This is the best screen that I have on my phone, and I'm gonna show you how to do this if you don't know how to do it already. So what you're gonna do with this is you are actually gonna open up your phone and you are gonna go to the Samsung store. So just swipe up, just type in store. 
And it's going to be this one right here, the little pink one. Mm-hmm. And then what you're going to do is download, type in good luck. It should be the very first one, good luck. Download this. This, once you download this, is going to get you to the screen. So let me open this up. This is what the app is called. All right, the scene may be a little different, but that's because I forgot to put something in there, so I'm redoing this video. So this part right here, uh, whenever you open up the app, you want to go to Life Up down at the bottom right-hand side. Once you go ahead and hit that, you're going to see Multistar. I already have it installed. If you don't, go ahead and install that, and then go to I Love Galaxy Foldable, and then Launcher Widget. There's a gaming one. I, I've never used that, but the Launcher one... And then whenever you have this, you can add whatever apps you want. So these are the ones I have, but if you want, you could go ahead and add any of these. Like maybe I might even add American right now too. Why not? But this is how you get that custom screen to pretty much run whatever app you want. So this is one of my favorite things about this phone that you don't even have to open it up and then you can do so many things. Now, you probably don't have to put wallet if wallet's right there and whatever you have right now, you can always change just by holding it down, opening up your phone, and then just switching it out. So if I want to do this to call, I can and I have that option. Now, let's move on to the good part, which is inside of this phone. Let me just get a sip of water because my mouth is dry. All right, so first things first that I'm going to tell you about the inside is I'm going to show you how to do this wallpaper. So how I did it was I actually went to the Play Store. So go to... The Google Play Store and then I typed in this app right here which is 4D Paralog and so this is the app I use in order to go ahead and get that screensaver to move whenever I move it as well so I'm gonna open this up just so you could see what this is so once you download this app I'm gonna be honest there are a lot of ads but you can go ahead and you can just create your own paper which I think is cool or you can look for presets which I also do and there is so many options you can do. Once you download one, they are stuck on your profile for a while. So if you wanna switch it out, and let's say I wanna do the Star Wars one whenever it moves around, I can do that. Or if I wanna go ahead and you know go back to this one, I have that option as well and just click set wallpaper and then it will set it for you. Now, I'm not sponsored by this little app. I just like it and it's my favorite one that I've used to get some cool wallpapers like this. Secondly, the only other thing you got to download when it comes to this in general is this clock right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Google Play Store again and then we're going to look for an app called Flip Clock and this is going to be the free one. For some reason, there's one that's like $1.99. You don't want that one. Go ahead, get the free version. Okay, so once you download this Flip Clock app, whenever you open it up, it's gonna look like this. I never open up this app, to be honest with you guys. So what I do is I'm just gonna hold down right here on my home screen at the top and then go to Widgets. And then once you hit Widgets, just go all the way down until you see Flip Clock and you have a lot of different options in here for it but my favorite one is going to be the one at the bottom right here if you want you could also have it vertically as well too but my favorite has to be the horizontal one just hit add boom it's going to look a little big at first now what you want to do is just drag it up a little bit and in order to create the stack where i had my alarm behind it what i'm going to do is just hold it down go to create stack and you can pick any of these options that you want to like flip over and you don't have to do just one i like doing just one so i don't have to scroll three times but let's go to clock alarm and hit add and once you hit add it's going to ask what alarm i'm just going to do the 7 a.m and then once i hit add boom it is on there so now i'm flipping through both of them and what i have set right now as far as like my app tile width you can change by just going over to settings and then home screen grid and you can change it right now I am on 5x5 five five. I don't know if you could see that I'm on 5x5 five five, but if I want I could switch it to 4x6 or I could switch it to 4x5 four or I could switch it to 5x6 five it's pretty much whatever you want me personally I like 5x5 five five the most because I just think it looks very clean 
and the apps are big enough to where it's not too overwhelming. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. You could also do the same thing when it comes to the folders or the app screen, but this is completely up to you. Anyways, moving on, the way I did this, I pretty much do for everything else. So for example, with the pictures, I'll go to edit stack. I have two things right here, which is smart suggestions and pictures. So with this one, you can pick as many pictures as you want. Actually, you have a thousand pictures to pick from and it'll kind of go through, but, and then you have your smart suggestions. So just pretty much do that with everything. Hold this down, edit stack, and you can stack it to whatever you like. There are so many different options. And now the next thing I want to talk about is pretty much the icons because when it comes to the icons, Samsung does a great job of customization. So the way I did this is I can pretty much hold it down again. Whenever you want to edit this, just hold it down the whole entire time. Go to themes and it's going to send you to this galaxy themes page. Now, once you're on this page, what you're going to do is you're just going to go down to icons. You can get wallpapers from here too, but I like going to icons and then top and I am cheap. I don't like paying. So go all go to free and you can pick as many icons as you want whichever icons you want so let me just show you some of the ones that i downloaded right now so go to my stuff icons i have picked so many icons so for example if i did want to switch it from the one i have now to here just hit apply and then it takes a second to download and then once it does it automatically goes to all your things. So if you want to edit this to however you want, I'm not even joking, there is so many icons in this store. So you can really customize your phone however you want it to look like, which is what I love about this phone. So we'll keep this for now because I think this looks pretty clean too. And so besides that, the next thing I wanna talk about is you may or may not have it. So if you don't have it, feel free to fast forward through this is the navigation bar at the bottom. As you can see, I don't have that. Personally, I don't like it. I like the gestures better. But if you do have that navigation bar, what you're gonna wanna do is just go here, go to settings, type in nav and the navigation bar should show up. Hit that and then it'll give you the option right here. Tap on navigation bar if you wanna do gestures or if you want buttons. If you want buttons, just tap on that and then as you could see, the little buttons appeared right here. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you about with this phone has to be this little edge panel right here. So if you wanna add more to it, just go ahead and hit this button right here, and then you could add whatever apps you want to. And let's say I have this open and I wanna watch you know, YouTube up here, and then watch you know, something else, pick through a theme at the bottom. I have that option as well. But the way you add more pages to this isn't as simple as just hitting that little button. What you're gonna have to do is go back over to settings and then right here I'm just gonna type in edge. There it is, edge panels. Go ahead, hit that. And then once you see edge panels, click on that again. And then here is where you could customize pretty much everything with your edge panel. So if I wanna switch it right now, I have it on people and apps, but I could do task, I could do weather, I even have a compass, a reminder, or I could do a clipboard. I can do whatever I want, and then I can also customize the color as well. So, all right, so that is it. I taught you how to do the screensaver. I taught you how to stack apps on here, showed you how to do the edge panels, as well as how to customize this front screen. Now, let me know if you enjoyed the video. This is the first time I've done a step-by-step -step review like this so let me know what you think about it down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you have any other questions please let me know down below anyways thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time peace